Just our top story this morning, the heaviest rain in nearly three decades has lashed parts of New South Wales. More than 100,000 residents are without power in Queensland and New South Wales. This as a powerful storm system saw torrential rain fall over fire grounds in the east. Let's go through the latest, latest details. State Emergency Services received more than 3,000 calls on Sydney's wettest weekend since 1992. The coastline from the Hunter to Bega is on flood watch and a hazardous surf warning is in place across the state. In Queensland, the state's southeast caught the worst of the wet weather. The Gold Coast, the Sunshine Coast saw widespread flash flooding as Coolangatta recorded 200 millimetres on Saturday. Drought ravaged Dolby had issued a flood warning while Toowoomba caught more than 100 millimetres of rain. The SES received more than 900 calls for help, conducting three vehicle rescues after motorists became stuck driving through flood waters. Anna Rawlings has the very latest. New South Wales roads and highways almost unrecognisable. North Richmond Bridge, not long ago blocked by fire, now cut off by flood water. The city has been slammed uh, with over 200 millimetres of rain in various parts. We've got flash flooding in, in lots of parts of um, Sydney. The State Emergency Service has received more than 3,500 calls for help since Wednesday, including dozens of flood rescues. Sky News captured the moment this driver became trapped in flood water at Milpera, Sydney's southwest. Flood warnings have been in place for a number of rivers, including the Hawkesbury and Manning rivers. The SES says water levels along the Hawkesbury are expected to be the largest since 1992. Evacuation orders were issued on Sunday evening for a number of areas across the state. Widespread flooding is predicted to continue on Monday. The weather system is being caused by a slow-moving coastal trough, creating abnormally high tides with waves up to five metres along the beaches. The swell washing a boat ashore at Mosman. So we're going to see continued uh, levels of rivers rising. Uh, we're going to see continued flash flooding. We are asking people to be very careful. Queensland didn't escape the wild conditions. Record rainfall and flooding causing train lines and several roads to be closed over the weekend. Anna Rawlings, Sky News.